Hello guys, so right here, welcome back to some more D4 Dark Dreams Don't Die. We're still in the prologue. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited to keep keep on playing this because I'm really interested. And I really do like the little play style it's got, you know, the whole, uh, yeah, the whole uh, point and point and click adventure stuff. Really, really liking it, guys. Let's continue on because this series, because this game just got done with this freaking intro. Let's get it. Sound possible to you? Antonio Zapatero, otherwise known as Rabbit, is a courier who only carries real blood. This one promised to provide evidence after being brought to Boston, evidence that may well have led to the ID of the source of real blood. But then the lightning struck, and the confusion vanished. He escaped somehow? No. When I say vanished, that's pretty much what I mean. Like something out of a magic act. So, pull me in. What makes this one the real deal? The name of the boss he was going to give up apparently starts with the letter D. Mm. This courier might have had evidence revealing the identity of D. So, interested yet? Let me ask you again. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? It might be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, it might be. Almost anything is possible. That's why you brought this to me in the first place, isn't it? I'm glad we're on the same page. Lots, lots of dobby document oh, evidence. evidence with him. I'll tell you, there's got to be a third party involved somewhere. From the evidence I was able to bring. This particular item is the most interesting. The owner of that badge was involved in this incident. Shit. Well, no doubt about it. This is a memento. Great. It's yours then. Let's hope it's the last one you'll ever need. Bloody Marshall's badge. That's cool. No character outfit for Amanda. What? Forest. Uh. Are you eating okay? Clothes, clothes can be changed in the bedroom closet. For real? Uh, DVD in the case. Uh, let's talk about this. So why this courier turn witness anyway? I don't know the details, but apparently he's in fear for his life. He turned himself into the DEA, and they trust him. Uh, I don't know about that either. But this is information about the mastermind behind real blood. And they're probably saying, you haven't heard to hear him out. I feel exactly the same way. True. So how are the BPD tied up in this? The BPD has the special drugs unit, after all. The team you once belonged to. Once. You have a long history of handling real blood. Our past knowledge can come in handy for cases like this one. Uh... That should be good. So we can fucking leave. Fucking Amanda, what the fuck? Is that that's freaking bedroom, right? Partners may have quit before, 
course, but that fact won't change. Now, trace it all the way back. If I hadn't asked you to join up in the first place... Hey. Shit, man. Got it. Wait a minute, I just went back to the bathroom? Don't give me that look, Amanda. Just trying to give him a reason to live. Who the fuck is with her? I'm basically... I thought we were going to the bedroom, but uh, we're back to the Will bathroom. Will I see you this time? <laughs> it should be in interesting. Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? Wait, this was a prologue? Wait, what? This was the prologue? What the fuck? No way. Complete the prologue. Are you fucking kidding me? What? Are you fucking serious? Hold up. Little Peggy's letters. Wow. Just fucking wow. Extra case of salt. None. I didn't read. What the fuck, man? Prologue cleared. What the fuck? Seriously? I, I I did not expect that. I really did. I was like going to go to the freaking bedroom and uh, like gonna like change like like a costume or something. But no, that uh, this has to be like the shortest part I've ever uploaded. Period. That. Is the most surprising shit I've ever seen in a freaking uh, game ever. <laughs> oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Like, seriously. Nine to eight minutes. That is, that is, that is so fucking short, guys. That is so short. Oh my god, I did not mean it to be this freaking long, but, or this short anyway, but I guess it kind of makes sense like the long ass Life, Life is Strange episodes. Um, how do I put, how do, how do I do this? This, has, this probably has to be the shortest damn video I've ever made in my freaking life, but, uh, actually I'm going to be putting in the freaking title, uh, Dark Dream D4, Dark Dreams Don't Die, Prologue, and Episode 1. You know what? Dark Dreams Don't Die, Prologue, plus Episode 1, and. 
Oh my god, I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do the title of the video. You know what, I'm just gonna do like D Dark Dreams Don't Don't Die Prologue uh part part two uh shortest shortest video ever. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna be doing that, but one of my first impressions on it, I'm really enjoying it. Uh I, I don't know what to say. I really don't know. Like I did not expect it to be this long, but then again, this is this is the prologue, but I wonder how long the episodes are gonna be. Who knows, but, um, anyway, this is, this has been, a uh, part two of my D4 Dark Dreams Don't Die series. I'm really surprised. Um, I really do like the way, the way it's going. Like, what are my, like, my thoughts on it? It's pretty good. I really do like it for what, for what it's doing. Uh, I do like the art, art, art style to it. It's it has a Wolf, Wolf Among Us uh, freaking look to it, which is really I I interesting. Uh, and I really, will, I really want to see like how 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 the, how the story unfolds. I did hear it ended on a cliffhanger in, in season one, but who knows what the next two episodes are gonna be about, guys? Uh, but again, I hope you guys have, are have enjoyed it. And again, this probably is gonna make up for all the Life is Strange episodes. So. Um, Again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, at least a little short of this, how short this so far is. And I will see you all in episodes one and two of this. Survivor out.